All right, welcome back to another stream. And in this one, we are going to be exploring something called React Helmet. So what React Helmet allows you to do is to change the meta tags in your website. And meta tags contain stuff like the description and also the title. Um, this description is specifically important in our case because this is what shows up when, when people search for your website on Google. So let's do a quick search for my website on Google. For the blog part of my website specifically, I don't want it to say, hey, this is my personal website. I can just change this description to be, hey, this is my blog. You can take a look at my blog, read my blog, etc., etc. right? And I only want to set this description for the homepage. And also, let's take a look at my headers for the blog. Let's go to AirPods Pro, for example. Take a look at this header. Uh, it says name and surname dash AirPods Pro. And this is literally the file name that I feed to the blog post uh, markdown file, right? Okay, well, whatever that is, we are going to be changing all of those um, descriptions and headers today using something called React Helmet. This is a wrapper component that just modif modifies um, header and uh, the, the title and the, all the meta tags that you want to change. Well, um, it's going to be very useful and it's going to be very easy to use rather than just um, creating my own implementation using a library like this is easier. And it doesn't take that much space in your bundle size. I have checked and it's less than 20 kilobytes um, without gzip. So it's fine. After gzip, it's going to be negligible probably. Okay, so what do we want to do? So I have these pages over here, blog, blog post, CV home and not found. Let's start by this. Let's start with the simplest one. So I have a div in here that I returned. This is the whole page, right? And how you use React Helmet is quite simple. So you just copy and paste this thing to inside your div at the top, at the bottom. It doesn't matter. As long as this is inside your component, this is going to change the title of your page and it's going to set the description and everything. Okay. And Previously, I was using document.title in the use effect hook. I don't know why I was doing it this way. I should have just moved that outside and it would have just worked anyway. Um, I wasn't thinking a lot, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm, I will be deleting all document.titles and I will be replacing with, I will be replacing those with React Helmet because, well, this, first of all, this allows you to set the meta tag and it's also a bit cleaner. Uh, I'm not going to leave it like this though. I'm going to create a wrapper around helmet. So it forces me to use the correct arguments all the time because it's really easy to just screw up this title and just say tile. This is probably going to compile and it's not going to complain. Um, creating a wrapper around helmet is just going to ensure that we have all the variables we, we want set properly. So I'm going to go to the util folder that I have. And in here, I have my utility um, classes. Oh, actually, they're here, sorry. I have my utility um, co components. And I think this was the simplest one, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can, I can just copy and paste row and just call this uh, meta decorator. I'm not gonna call it some helmet whatever decorator. I just want to, I just want this to have a meaningful name. So if people ever read my code in the future, they know what we are trying to achieve in here. Helmet is a super confusing name, I think. Um, I don't know why people name their frameworks after weird stuff. It just creates a bit of confusion if you ask me. It's cool, I agree, but so let's get started. We're gonna rename all the rows that we have in here with uh, meta decorator. Okay, and inside here, we're gonna return um, a helmet component. Well, obviously we have to do an npm install on this thing, so uh, actually, let's just do the npm install thing first, right? So I'm just going to copy this thing and I'm going to open up my terminal. Um, I'm going to paste this in and I'm, I'm going to do dash dash save. So this is going to add um, React Helmet into my package.json file. So while that installs, we can take a look at how it's imported. So this is how we import it apparently. That's okay. We're going to come back here. We can remove this from there and we're going to paste the Helmet into here. And let's copy the um, helmet decoration. Okay, so this is what we want. And let's remove this part. Let's put this in parentheses and put helmet in here. Let's clean this 
up. Oh, actually, I've just realized I don't have a sh keyboard shortcut set for this. So let me just set that very quickly. All right, um, key map, um, yes, lint. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, um, so what do we want to give to React Helmet? We want a title and we have a description, right? So let's change these variables to title and description. Um, both of these are required string parameters, so I'm just gonna do something like this. So let's just select both of these lines and mark them as required so we can remove this part, description and title. All right, that's fine. Um, you're gonna put the title in here and you're gonna put description in there. Okay, that looks good. Now, all we need to do is basically to use this component. Okay, so we are gonna use this in the not found file, right? So let's just put that in here as a component. Okay, we have to import it and IntelliJ is gonna help us do that. Okay, we've added the import statement there. And obviously you have to give it the um, variables that it requires. So the description is going to come from this not found JSON. So I've um, edited these files offline. So these JSON files contain all of the strings that I use in my website. There are plenty of these things. Um, you can just take a look at the source code in my GitHub. Okay, so we want the page, we want the page title to be this and we want the page description to be that. So it, it's actually very easy to do. So you're just gonna say not found dot page description and this is gonna be not found uh, page title. Nice page title, there you go. I wanna swap these around. I think title should come first, that makes more sense. Okay, let's clean this up, All right? Okay, um, we can now remove document.title and this should be working now, um, except there is another bug that we're gonna fix and I'll show it to you. So let's just see this thing working now. Let's go to the website. Um, let's navigate to the 404 page. So we can just type a random address in here and that's gonna take us to the 404 page. So if you take a look at the um, title, it's name and surname dash 404. And let's take a look at the meta tag. So let's take a look at head, uh, meta description, meta description, looking for description. Okay, the description shows um, this is the 404 page. You have been redirected here because the page you requested doesn't exist. Okay, so that's the actual description. But take a look at this thing in here. React data react helmet equals true. So this is something that you have to set in, in your index.html file, which gets created when you create your React app initially. Okay, so let me take you to index.html. All right. So this is the index.html. This gets generated via just to create React app. If it wasn't generated, then make sure you add it. But there's something that you have to change in here for React Helmet to override the meta tag that you previously have. You have to add this thing in here, data-react-helmet equals true. I found this when I was looking for, um, I was just searching for React meta tag duplicate by a helmet or something. And then there was a GitHub post telling you to use this thing instead. So you have to add this data-react-helmet equals true. And you have to close this tag. If you don't close the tag, it doesn't work. I mean, if you don't close this tag, the meta, meta description would still work, but um, helmet will not be able to override the description. Okay. Now that that's clarified, uh, we are good to go. So we all we need to do is to apply these, this thing for all of the pages that we have in here. Um, and I'm not going to do that. I can just do that offline. I have edited the, edited the JSON files for all of these things. Um, so it's pretty much going to be the same thing. So if in, in case, well, for the home, home, uh, for the home page, I'm just going to say meta decorator and I'm going to give the description. So the description is going to be content dot page title page description. And it's literally the same thing. Okay, let's just do this one as well, whatever. Um, title, page, title, page, title, page, title. There you go. So let's just go to the home page. Oh, I forgot to remove document.title. So let's remove that. Okay, so going to the home page, you're going to see the home tag in here, which obviously works. Okay. 
Another question that I'm going to answer today is to how to set this thing in blog posts because that's specifically tricky, right? Let's go to the blog post component. So this blog post component doesn't take any arguments. It only takes a file name as a parameter into the URL. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is the blog and if I click on one of these things, notice how the URL changes to AirPods Pro, for example, or um, what is an Apple Watch useful for goes to Apple Watch. These are files that I have in the blog folder in here. And um, these files, they actually contain all of the markdown stuff that I have in here. So we're gonna talk about this thing next. But this is the blog post and these things automatically get picked up and then convert, they get converted to HTML once you click on the um, actual blog post, but whatever. So this is the only thing that we have inside um, the blog post, right? We don't have access to a JSON file that shows where our uh, page title, page description is. So it's gonna be a bit tricky. I was thinking about the most clever and fastest way of doing this. And then I realized I can put um, custom components inside my blog posts, right? Because I have this um, custom image carousel component in here. And I was like, yeah, I could, or I should be able to do the same thing for helmets. And then, yeah, it was possible. So let me show you how I do that. Um, so blog post markdown. Okay, so this is the uh, markdown component that I am using, and it's the component is called markdown to JSX. It's it's something that I've downloaded from npm JS. It's an available library that you can use. There's a library for everything in JavaScript, literally a library for everything. So this is a specific component that I use. This is another specific component that I use for syntax highlighting, and I can add another component in here called meta decorator, right? And this meta decorator component, well, you're just going to specify the component, oh, not that. You're just going to specify the component name, and the component name is going to be meta decorator. And this is all we have to do. And if you go to one of the blog posts, let's say, you have to put the meta decorator, this uh, meta decorator components in here, and you're going to put the description like this, and then you're going to put the title like that. And when this component is rendering, blog post markdown render is going to pick this up as a React component and it will try to render this and it will run the um, component code. And inside the component code, it's just gonna change your meta tag and it will work just like that. And I've added meta decorators for all of my blog posts in here. So they all work as expected as well. So let's just remove the document.title setting from here. And instead of this ugly uh, Apple um, Apple Watch thing that you saw in here uh, before, I just say my initials dash, what is an Apple Watch useful for, which is that title, right? And I think this is much better uh, because in Google searches, these things are gonna be more appealing than ever. So if you take a look at these ones, for example, it just says Apple Watch dash, my name is surname and in the future it's going to in let's say in a three or four weeks when google indexes my website again it's just going to say what is an apple watch useful for and then dash my initials instead of just my name is surname dash apple watch the file name which is not that meaningful okay well this is how you use um helmets and I suggest you to create a wrapper around it just like I did because this uh, minimizes the errors that you can potentially make. Yeah, this is it. I hope you learned something new from this and don't forget um, you can actually modify more stuff with this helmet component. It's not, it's not just the title and the description. You can probably change the images for social media stuff and that's what I'm going to do in my next stream. So stay tuned for that one. And yeah, this is it. I hope you learned something new and I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.